Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Elisa Lamore and I hope you enjoy my outfit of the day. So I just want to thank everybody for the great reception for my Cubicle Chic series and uh, I will continue as the inspiration hits. I'm going to try to show you new things, but of course I'm only human and uh, I wear things I like over and over again. So don't be surprised if you see mixing and matching of the same thing. So onto the outfit. So today's outfit is pretty much all black. And because I'm wearing all black, I think for me and my complexion, I need to play up with a little bit of color on my face. Black can sometimes be very draining on the complexion and on a lot of people. So it's like you're kind of in this double-edged sword because you've been told black makes you look trimmer. At the same time, black also washes out a lot of people's skin tone. So what are you going to do, right? So my suggestion would be to play up a little bit of either bright accessories or makeup so that your skin has some life to it so it's not so draining. So I did just that with this look and I had fun with my hair and I went more for the berries this time around and I'm going to show you. So as you can see, my hair is up and it's to the side I have this um, this little, little purple bandana, um, this like little scarf, and I put my hair all up and then I kind of did a little bit of a, a rolled bang just for the heck of it to try something new because I kind of want to see how it would look and it worked out for me. So for my makeup, I did obviously a vintage look. I know, surprise, surprise, but I'm totally into it right now. So you got to go with what you feel, right? So if you are feeling, you know, you want to do a more natural look, go for it. If you really want to do smoky eyes, go for it. If you want to do retro or whatever, go for it. Go for what makes you feel the best. And right now I'm totally digging lipsticks and I'm digging the retro look. So I did a, a classic retro eye with browns on the, in the crease and a lighter shimmery shade on the lid. And then I did a pink cheek to go with this berry lip. Not sure if it's coming out as berry as it is in person. But this is actually an elf lipstick. This is the first time I've tried an elf lipstick. It was one dollar and it's called Voodoo. The good thing about it is that it's a dollar and it feels very comfortable. The thing that I was a little disappointed with is that it's sheer for what I like. I like a very like opaque finish. But it is very beautiful. So I used a lip liner by Essence and I will write everything right here so that you can see. And this is Voodoo $1 Elf and it's really comfortable. So I am absolutely enjoying my lips today. So for accessories, I'm wearing these little metal rose earrings that I got um, geez, years ago and I really wish I bought more because I love them. And if you see them around, I thought they used to have a Forever 21, but I could be wrong. Please let me know if you've seen them recently. I am wearing this Murano glass ring. It's black and gold. And I finally remembered to show you my other accessories that I always forget. So I'm going to show you my sunglasses and my bag. So these are my sunglasses. I got these from Torrid on sale. And they had them with like a brown rim, purple, pink. So go take a look at your local tour if you're interested. I am totally loving this retro look. And I actually remembered my bag. I can't even believe it. I'm just so involved in I am carrying my Mew Mew bag. Where is it? And this, this bag girl is my mainstay lately. And it goes with everything. And I'm really enjoying the texture and the quilted pattern that it has. You'll see it better when I show my whole outfit. As for the top, this is like a sweater vest and sheer top in one. I got this a few years ago from Evans, but you can look for the sweater vest coming up this fall and winter. And what I like about it is that even though it's black, it has texture to it. So it has one of this bow, and this sheer fabric has these little tiny polka dots on it, which can't be seen on my camera, but um, they are there, and you can untie it, and 
you know, wear it however you like. And it has a sheer sleeve, a three-quarter length sheer sleeve with polka dots as well. So it's really interesting because it's not just fully black because you can kind of see my skin tone through the sleeves, yet everything's covered and everything is, um, I don't know, kind of kept warm, you know? And as you can see, I am wearing black trousers and these red suede wedges as well. Um, I wore the red wedges just to kind of tie into the berries and reds that are in my makeup and my headband. And because I like a, I always like a little extra ump on uh, my feet when I am wearing all one color. It's just my preference. And here is a close-up of the shoes that I'm wearing. It's got a cute bow. These were from Marks and Spencer's, which is a department store in London. But, you know, as winter comes around, um, uh, velvets are going to be really popular this fall, so you may see velvet shoes or suede shoes. Uh, pick one up in a red. It'll get you through fall and winter with ease and elegance. So I want to say bye and thank you to everyone who is watching my videos, who subscribes and who comments. I really appreciate the interaction I'm having with you guys and I'm really enjoying it. Also, I hope you try something new fashion-wise today or this week. I say be brave. I did something new. I wore this hairstyle. And I think there's always something new to try, whether it's makeup, hair, or clothing. There's always a different way to work with what you have. And I believe that if there's a certain way you always wanted to dress and you aren't doing that, if you're not showing who you are to the world and you're kind of stifling that away, I think now is the time. I think you need to be brave, go out there and dress however it is you want to dress. It doesn't matter your age, your color, your size, your gender, it does not matter. If you are living an inauthentic self because you are not dressing how you think, how you feel in your heart, and instead you're dressing how you think people think you should dress, stop right now, start being happy and being true to yourself. So be brave today, be brave this week. I hope you are happy. Have a good one. See you next video.